Hello everybody, this is Paul Pona. Welcome to this live stream where I am super excited to talk about very, very important topics for this year and beyond. One of the biggest questions I get when it comes to artificial intelligence, you know, with chat GPT, uh, then there's all these other AI technologies that are coming in. How do I really benefit from it, right? Because it's one thing to just talk about it, sounds cool, but how, how do we really profit from it? How do we get revenue from it? How do we get leads from it? How do we get sales from it? That's what I'm gonna be talking about today. We're gonna to dive into detail on how to succeed with AI, whether it's come to AI-based content generation, which I'm gonna be talking about, AI-based audio and voiceover generation with emotional voices and stuff like that. And also I'll be talking about AI-based video uh, creation as well, text to video and as well audio to video as well. Now these technologies when used in conjunction together will get you mind blowing results. Why? Because it's going to put you in the cutting edge of the next generation of technologies. Now I just want to quickly uh, play this out so that you understand what I'm talking about. So when we talk about AI, so the first part that I'm going to make here is you have to understand that it's how you use the AI, okay? How you use the AI, how do you utilize it to get results? For example, back in 2020, uh, for example, 2003, 2004, right? In my early days, I got started around 2005, 2006, okay, in this online space. And when I got started around that, there's a lot of chaos. You know, people are not understanding what was happening because there's so many technologies coming in. And one technology, though, was really catching on, and that was Google, right? So in the early days of Google, a lot of people, just like how today we're talking about AI content generation, AI audio and voiceovers and video and all this other stuff, a lot of people were not knowing what to do with it. They were just saying, oh, it sounds cool, whatever. Then what happened is very few people figured out, hey, this is the next generation. Before you had yellow books, people you had to call to get information. Before you had to basically, you know, use these GPS systems that are not accurate, right? Everything changed once Google came in where you could just search and you get all the information, right? Your low pages went out of business and they are still in business, but they're not making as, as much profit and all that. So my point is how you use AI matters. Those of us, meaning me, I built my very first website back in 2005 and it was a sports website. And at that point, just like how we're talking about AI right now, it prompt engineering, how do you use prompts to get the AI to generate things and stuff like that. Same thing applied then. People wanted to design websites at that time. Nobody knew how to design websites because there's no platforms out there. And the few people who understood how to use uh, and design websites, they could literally get top rankings on Google because there's no competition, right? So I actually built my first website in 2005, late 2005, and by early 2006 and into 2007, that website was getting thousands and thousands of visitors every single day and generating me revenue from Google AdSense, which is basically where I just put ads of Google and then people will click on it when they land on my website and make money with it. And in my prime, that was making me $300 a day, that one website, okay? And at that time, I was just 17 years old, okay? A little bit actually even younger than that, but let's just say 17 for the sake of argument, uh, if I recall that that far back, but I've never seen that kind of money in my life, right? And the reason why I'm trying to explain this to you is if a 17 year old with no actual family background, with money or whatever, and no actual experience, I, I started using a computer just three years prior to that. I've never even touched a computer before then. And more important than that, somebody who had no money because I was a broke college kid who just went to college at that point in time, my first year. And then also I was already busy with a lot of college, homework and all this other stuff. If I could figure it out, than anybody could, right? What was the game changer? It was timing, okay? This is the other thing we're gonna be talking about today, which is the second aspect of it is timing, okay? Timing means everything, okay? When you start, what do you do? And when you uh, basically uh, get up and running because then there's no competition and all that, right? So what I did is basically what I'm gonna be showing you right now, what you can do today, okay? What I did is I just went in and I figured out what is the basic level website I can build in the fastest possible time because I only had 30 minutes a day, uh, you know, free time every single day because I was so busy uh, with uh, my college and basically homework and some other activities and clubs I was part of and all that. So in 30 minutes, what can I really do quickly, right? So what I did is I quickly went in and I figured out the bare minimum I need to do to build a website. And I did that. I put up a website quickly and then I figured out the bare minimum I need to put some information there, right? The content on that website, right? Did the bare minimum and boom, literally right out of the gate because there was no competition. When people were searching for that information, which I was in the sports market, 
I was coming number one for many keywords on Google. And because of that, that changed the trajectory of my life forever. In fact, what that showed me is that if you can leverage the latest technologies with no competition, it will give you that competitive advantage. In fact, if I go a drill deeper, and I'm gonna talk about that today, is I'm gonna show you the tools, I'm gonna show you the resources and all that kind of good stuff. But one key thing I'm gonna mention here, step by step for you today, is how we can leverage latest technology. So I'm gonna talk about our human talk application, right? If you haven't already gotten it, uh, this is the time to get it because it's the next generation content generation system and platform. And also basically you can write text, content, and all that kind of good stuff. And also it does the emotional voices as well. Like for example, I can choose all these emotions where excited, friendly, terrified, and all that kind of good stuff. I can do all these types of voices, which I'll get to, get to that in just a second. And of course you can also generate content off of a simple keyword or keywords that you type in and it will intelligently find out and create the content for you. It completely destroys chat GPT and every other platform like that because it actually intelligently gets the most up-to-date information and gets it without you having to write like a big essay on what you wanted to do, right? Very, very complicated. So it's gonna set you up in the map. It's simplicity, right, what matters. Then we'll also talk about our human pal technology where you can bring it all together where you can create videos as well with the content that you're generating, the audios, the voiceovers you're generating, okay? Because bringing it all together will put you on the map. Now, when I get to something like this, people are like, oh, okay, here we go. This is another software uh, tool that we have to buy and all that. I'm just trying to tell you this is the next generation. This is the next revolutionary thing. This is the future. Whether you're in it or out, it doesn't matter to me. What matters is you better understand that if you're doing the old stuff, funnels, old stuff, just publishing a bunch of stuff that other people told you, old stuff, like old way of doing affiliate marketing, old stuff, like basically still selling stuff on Amazon or whatever, you're gonna be just destroyed by people who have AI on their, you know, basically with, on their site, right? Basically because AI doesn't sleep, AI doesn't eat, AI doesn't take breaks, it will just generate stuff for you pretty much all day or all night, right? That gives you an edge over your competition unlike anything else I've ever seen in the last 15 years that I've been doing this stuff. It's a real breakthrough. I cannot stress that enough, all right? Now, let me go back into history, right? When I wanted to, you know, when I got started succeeding when I was 17 and then on and on and on and built a business that's done well over $100 million in uh, revenue over the last uh, more than uh, almost decade plus, right? Almost 15 years now. And one of the things people always ask me, what's your reason for success, right? Like, what can I do to replicate it? Because as I said, I had no money. I literally started with nothing. Like I didn't even spend, I think even $50 uh, to get up and running to build my first business, right? Uh, because I just needed a web hosting account and a, and a domain name, literally, that's it. Everything else was literally just, I put it. And in the beginning, I used to say it was, I got kind of lucky. Later on, I started justifying it saying I got, it was hard work. Later on, I started justifying saying I was at the right place at the right time, but not really. What I really re uh, uh, understood is when I talked to some of the mentors that I've uh, talked over the years, um, a couple of them mentioned something very interesting. What they told me is I was not just in the right place at the right time, I had an edge over people. In other words, I was doing things just a little bit before everybody else were doing, and more importantly, I was doing it in the right way. So what I mean by that is if you go back to history, We'll get to that in just a second because you have to understand, it's very important. If you look at history, who are the most successful people in our industry, right? In the uh, technology space? Well, Steve Jobs. What made Steve Jobs really, really successful? Well, he was one of the first people to basically get access to personal computers, personal computer technologies and all that kind of stuff, right? In his very young age, uh, because he was part of many of these clubs and these uh, areas. So that gave him an edge because everybody else did not even have access to a computer, right? At that point. Uh, Bill Gates, for example, nobody talks about it. And that was by the time he was eight years old, he already had access to a computer, right? This is one of these big mainframe computers. And also on top of that, he also had access to his parents who basically allowed him to get into some, um, you know, uh, exclusive areas where he could get access to the computer. And also he set up a special deal with the school where they gave him access to their mainframe computer uh, where he can use it after school. In other words, Bill Gates had like, but, uh, maybe hundreds and hundreds of hours of computer usage before anybody else even knew what a computer was, right? Same thing happened to me. I started doing websites before people even understood what a website was, right? What was the purpose of a website? And more importantly, how you could utilize website to get traffic and then get more um, lead sales and that sort of thing, right? That was the reason why I succeeded. So my point is now let's, let's forward back 
to now. I've always talked about the pioneering things of AI. One of the things was when YouTube came in, that was a big pioneering aspect of AI, right? Uh, because YouTube shrunk videos that could be played very, very quickly. Then when YouTube came in and then mobile phones, smartphones came in like iPhone and all that, Android and all that, then people could just consume content on their phone, right? That made a big difference, isn't it? So the point I'm trying to make is whenever you latch on to new technologies, you need to understand that when these technologies will allow you to get an edge over your competition, AI is that edge right now, okay? It is so new. I'm talking the OpenAI, uh, you know, the uh, main guy behind OpenAI is Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI. He also had the same edge about 30 years ago when he was eight years old, he had access to a computer and he became a programmer. And before programming was cool or something that a lot of people were doing, right? Gave him an edge. Same thing is applying here. We are, as we speak, in the very early innings of AI. Everybody's scrambling around to figure out how to make use of it in different businesses. There are people talking about how they're gonna use it in spreadsheets, right? To speed up their accounting stuff. There are people talking about how they can use it in healthcare, in construction, in uh, real estate, in for example, uh, many of these other service sector businesses, hotels, hospitality, all these industries, right? Now you have to understand if you're doing agency consulting work or even trying to grow your own business, an e-commerce business, whatever it is, use this technology right now the right way because you're in the right place at the right time. The more hours you put in now on this, same way as I mentioned to you earlier, the more edge you're gonna get over your competition and it's gonna literally get you results where you didn't even understand why you're getting results because you would feel, well, the last few months, few years, I've been trying everything, I'm not getting the results I desire, but suddenly I'm getting results, what, what changed? Well, what changed is you're doing that little, one little secret that every single successful person in the world has ever done, which was they got access to something and put in those hours, right? Those hours to get that experience on a technology that's so brand new, so nascent, and they got so good at it that by the time the rest of the world got, got caught on to it, it was too late for the rest of the world. But for you and them and me in that case, we all benefit because literally we're in the early stages, early innings, right, of uh, something that is just groundbreaking, something that's futuristic, something that will really, really change. It's a revolutionary thing. I would say Google was a revolutionary thing a while back. Then before that, there was a personal computer. Then after that, after Google, it was basically the mobile phone, right? After the mobile phone, social media platforms took over, right? That was a revolutionary thing. And now we're talking about AI. I'm telling you, next few years, five to seven to eight years, a lot of these so-called gurus will move on, right? They'll move on to all these other stuff. I won't and you won't because you're just going to give you an edge over your competition, okay? So now let's talk a little bit about what AI can do for us, okay? Because a lot of people talk about this. So first of all, let's talk about content generation aspect. Now imagine you're a person and then you are trying to create content, whether it's for your business, for your, uh, basically for a client or whoever it might be, right? Now, the secret to getting client, uh, to client results is they don't care if you're creating a video for them, content for them, whatever. All they care about is results, right? So in the world right now, you have to look at it. What is the highest value uh, jobs out there? Everything related to sales, marketing, copywriting, advertising, these are the highest value sales. The closer you are to sales and revenue, meaning if you run an ad and you're making money, maybe you ran, ran a content campaign on social media and you're generating revenue or leads for a business. That is the highest value there, right? Other things are not as high value as somebody who can bring revenue to a business, right? So when you're talking and trying to get revenue for a business, that's the first thing you're gonna say. So you're not gonna go and say, I'll generate AI content for you. You're gonna say, I'm gonna get you more leads. I'm gonna get you more sales, right? That's what AI is all about. So now let's talk about the first part about what you need to do to succeed with AI. First thing, you gotta master this idea of what's called a prompt, okay? An idea of what's known as a prompt, okay? Is that cool? Now. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna actually step by step show you a secret strategy on how you can utilize prompts and how you have to understand how prompts work. And then we'll go from there and then I'm gonna dive into it a little bit deeper to understand how the prompts can actually help you succeed, okay? We're gonna do step by step on both of them. So I have this trusty whiteboard right now and I'm gonna walk you through the entire step by step process of what we are trying to achieve with the prompt. So think of it where AI, if you're just getting started with prompts, you have this big brain, okay? Let's just put this as the brain, okay? This is where basically what we like to call in the AI space is a large language model or in short form, LLM. So this is where it's read every single book that's ever been written. It's written uh, every single Wikipedia post that's ever been posted. Imagine all these things. 
it has this in this brain, okay? So now what your job is, is to retrieve from that brain the right kind of input, right? And output in this case. So you would wanna give it the right kind of input. So let's say you give it the right kind of input, right? You give the right kind of input to get the right kind of output, okay? This is how you have to understand it. So in a nutshell, what happens is, let's say you're trying to generate an article or sales copy or whatever it might be. What we have to understand, and in simpler terms here, is that the more detailed this is, the more likely you're gonna get the results that you wanna get and the more human-like it will be, okay? So in other words, there's two ways to do something, right? Let's say, for example, I want this AI to write something, right? Like, let's just do some simple math here, right? So I want this AI, I'll make a note here for you. So there's two options, right? So let's just do that right here so that you can understand it. So one thing is we want, let's say, five diet um, secrets, right? Uh, for uh, keto, right? Or for um, people with diabetes or whatever, right? This is one way people write it. Let's say write a 200 word article on keto diet benefits, right? Something like this. This is your generic thing, right? That's what people write it. What I want to explain to you is that is the old way of doing things and that doesn't work well that well. What you have to do is go a little bit deeper, okay? And I'll simplify this for you as we go along. We'll automate this for you to an extent and all that. The other way to do this, okay, is you're gonna do it where like it's like this. You are a fitness trainer with experience in losing um, wait for your clients uh, specializing in ketogenic diet. I want you to write me a 200 word article with a professional feel and uh, authoritative language to show that the person reading this needs to take action quickly to lose weight, something like this, right? This is the prompt that you would give. This will be infinitely more powerful, like this one right here, than this one, right? So now, how do we build this? That is what the AI prompts course will be all about, okay? Now, I'm gonna try to simplify this. I'm gonna automate this process for you and that sort of thing as we go along. But the goal of this training specifically is to ensure that you know exactly what you need to type here to give it exactly what it wants. And this works across different models. This works across different things. Now, one thing I want you to understand, okay? And this is what I'm gonna do. So like, let's say I put a thumbs up here, right? This is the thumbs up, right? Now, what I want you to understand is that the AI brain is only becoming bigger and bigger and bigger, okay? So, just to simplify this, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, put this down here. So now imagine this is the AI brain that was uh, right now that you're using in terms of getting the input. Let's say this was the old brain, right? Like, so this one is the old size. Now, the new one is this big. So that means we have more and more and more data that it's consuming and becoming smarter and smarter and smarter. So the point though is, it still needs direction. It's similar to like a professor, like you go to a university or a college, somebody who's a PhD has spent like last 15 years doing research and stuff like that. The right kind of questions you ask the professor, the more likely that you're gonna basically get the uh, answer, right? If you just ask a generic question, you're gonna get a generic answer. You get a more detailed question, you're gonna get a detailed answer. So this is what prompts are all about, okay? This is what we're gonna be focusing on in this training. Now, the way I structured this uh, training is I wanna do it live so that they are basically positioned 
so that you can join in and have any questions that you have answered on these. And also the way I position this is that we're gonna be going live in our Facebook group as well. And of course I'll post the replays for this as well uh, into the uh, Google Docs so that you can actually uh, follow along and stuff like that. Any checklists and things like that will be posted there as well. Now. This is a primer video because I want you to understand how a prompt looks like, how it's structured and all that. Now, I've been able to successfully do it in such a way where I've gotten results that were substantially better than the average copywriter, the average marketer, the average, you know, whoever it might be. And the reason why I've been able to get that kind of a result and that kind of uh, basically, uh, you know, uh, which I'm gonna show you in just a second as we go along is that when you give it the right kind of a prompt, you're gonna get the right kind of a result. And the beauty is, the more you understand it, the more you're gonna be positioned for the future. So what's happening here? And I'll explain that because you gotta understand the fundamentals, right? AI is gonna replace a graphic designer, a copywriter, for somebody who's actually doing a lot of agency work out there, like SEO, article writing, they're gonna replace a lot of the jobs out there, right? So even programmers, by the way, will be replaced by AI. So what it's gonna mean is that you have these models which are basically they can do coding, the, the AI can do everything you can imagine, right? And so because of that, what you have to understand is that we're gonna have this new profession that's gonna get formed, okay? It is called the prompt engineer, okay? It's called a prompt engineer. Now, you don't need to be a coder or a programmer or gone to university to study engineering or whatever. The idea is with a prompt engineer, what we're trying to do here is basically we are trying to position you, okay, to be an expert to get this brain, this brain right here to actually provide inputs. So in other words, instead of me going in and sit in front of the keyboard and coding, right, I can tell it, you know, this is the problem, right? And I gotta explain the problem and that's what prompts is. And then give me a solution to that problem, right? That is what prompt engineering is. So here's what I want. Here's what I want you to uh, basically solve for me. That is basically what it is. So you gotta think of yourself, let's say for example, as a director of a movie, right? You wanna bring all the pieces together. So you wanna get a script writer, you wanna get a screenplay writer, you wanna get all these people together, right? You gotta think of yourself like that. When you think of yourself like that, you can become a much better prompt engineer and then you're gonna be positioned to succeed a lot more than anybody else. Similarly, what you have to understand is that with prompt engineering, once you understand the concept and the understanding thing, you can do it for text to image, text to article generation, copywriting, you can do it for anything. So in other words, you could be, for instance, a designer, right? Like you could, just because of, without even doing a single design, you can do, be a designer, you could be, for example, a coder, right? Uh, you could be, uh, for example, uh, you can do HTML, CSS, even if you have no clue what that is, right? Uh, you could even, for example, uh, be a copywriter now, Okay, you can write copy and basically now because of how you can instruct it to basically give you the result that you want. The secret though is how you instruct it, okay? That's what we're gonna be talking about step by step. I'm gonna give you some ideas, some setups and I'm gonna give you some things that you can copy and paste as well. But if you wanna be positioned for the future, understand that the goal of prompt engineering is to give it context, okay? This word context is the most important thing that you will learn when it comes to prompt engineering. It's like this, if I go to a party, there's 100 people, there's talking, there's a lot of loud music, and then I jump in midway into the conversation and I say, hey, um, can you explain to me some strategies on how to lose weight, let's say for example. There's no context, they're talking about some other topic and you j uh, jumped in and then now you're talking about, by the time people even understand that and get back to you, you're gonna basically not get the right kind of an answer, right? The same thing though, let's change it the other way around. Same party, right? Now you are in there and you're listening in to all the conversations. Now you jump in and that conversation, you give an basically something with contextual to that conversation. Let's say they're talking about what is the best place to travel in the world, right? And what is it the best place to travel when you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, whether you're male or female, whether you're a solo traveler or a family traveler, right? Now you give it a specific context to that discussion saying, hey, you know, I'm a, um, you know, for example, I'm married, I have two kids, 
What do I do to take my family on a vacation? What are some good spots to go? Now you're going to get the right kind of answer because the people there understand the context and the flow is more natural, right? Similarly, AI works the same way where you just butt in and you say, just give me 10 lines of text or just give me five things here. It's not going to get you the right kind of results because it's just going to make an educated guess um, with what it thinks you're asking for, right? What you have to think of it is you're giving instructions to a 10 year old child and uh, basically explain exactly what you want, but that child is a genius, uh, who has all the knowledge of uh, everything, of all the information ever written, and basically in terms of Wikipedia, in terms of articles and all that, maybe it's not gonna be super accurate in every answer, but in most cases, right? Most cases like coding, in most cases like, for example, uh, for instance, problem solving, right? Like say I have this problem, how do I solve it, okay? Math and some things like that, right? Uh, designing, copywriting it's gonna give you the right kind of answers. Now, it may not be the best historian, it might not be the best, uh, for example, political consultant with opinions, it's, it's about actually getting you the results. So this is what I want you to understand. Remove politics and other things out of the way, and this is gonna help you a lot more in getting the right kind of results because this is the reason why people have this AI is controversial. It's giving you wrong information, it's giving you this, giving that. It's because they're purposely giving it opinionated uh, questions to ask, right? They're gonna say, which political party is more fair towards X demographic or which political party is gonna basically help me uh, get less taxes or something like that, right? it's not gonna be the right kind of, because it's opinionated, right? There's no yes or no answer. Uh, but in the case of, hey, you know, my problem is right now I have an issue where, for example, I'm trying to write a copy, like a sales copy or an ad or something like a video sales script for this market. Let's say, for example, the market is ketogenic diet or let's say weight loss, or let's say even, for example, the market is service sector, like dentist, chiropractors, right? Can you help me out in basically catering to this customer base? Let's say the customer base in this case for that chiropractor is athletes, let's say, right? Well, for an athlete who is 30 years old, who is wanting to basically rehabilitate from an injury, can you give me a sales copy for that? it's gonna give you a right answer, right? Because it knows, it studied every single marketing copy or uh, campaign out there and it gets better and better with time, okay? So this is what we're gonna be talking about. Now, the first thing you wanna actually finalize is what do we write here in this blank screen? You're gonna see the same problem with any kind of an AI content generation platform, right? One of the things is some of them may try to kind of dumb it down, but the thing is, AI is your own canvas, right? You can create anything you want with AI and you can literally make it really, really powerful and it also can be done in such a way where you can make command like a genie, right? Like you're commanding genie to give you a bunch of wishes. You can command AI to produce anything you want as long as you master this little thing called prompts. And I've actually simplified it through automation in our brand new human talk technology, which if you didn't get already, it's the time to do so, right? I'll, I'll leave the link right below there. It's called humantalk.io slash yes, yes. So if you haven't already gotten it, get it right now. It's gonna solve a lot of issues for you when it comes to succeeding uh, with uh, basically prompts and also generating some things. So let me show you some a new feature that we added into the human talk technology, the text writer, the AI content generation system, which will allow you to become a master of prompts without having to spend the next six months learning it, which is a waste of time, right? Because by six months, if you're wasting it, which you could be spending to be a master at it today using some things that I've done for you to simplify your life completely, right? Which is gonna completely destroy chat GPT or any other so-called AI content generation systems because behind the scenes, I've trained the AI to simplify things for you, okay? I'll talk about that right now, step by step, so that you can actually have that unfair advantage over your competition. All you have to do is it's gonna basically, you're gonna have what should I write, which is step number one, right? So let's just say you wanted to write, I wanna create a sales copy for my life coaching business. I wanna attract business owners who want to eliminate fears and grow their business with my help, simple, right? And then you click on this advanced prompt mode and click submit, right? And automatically what it's gonna do is it's gonna create a prompt, like meaning expand upon it, where the AI can understand and input something even better. Right, so that's gonna make it infinitely better than what ChatGPT can provide you or any other AI application in the market today. Now, so in this case, you see this, right? A compelling sales copy that speaks to business owners who wanna overcome their fears and take their business to the next level. Now, if I click submit one more time, it's gonna keep changing it to how I like it, okay? You see the beauty here? It's gonna keep changing things and 
basically where you can now, once it's done, you click next. And what it's going to do is it's going to generate a sales copy for your life coaching business that is actually persuasive. That's actually going to get people to really get excited and really buy your product or service, book a phone call, basically get in touch with you, right? Check this out. Are you a business owner who's struggling uh, with fear and self doubt? Are you looking for a way to take your business to the next level? Well, I don't know where to start. Now, what you can do is you can actually go and paste this right now and just select everything, select all copy, and then you go to human talk and you can use any one of our spokespersons, let's say uh, like Jason or whoever it might be, or Jenny or Nancy or 800 different people you can pick. And let's say I wanna pick whatever I want, I can go in next and then I can uh, right click and copy and paste this. And then I say agree to the terms and then I click next. And now I can create a professional voiceover to be used for podcasting, for even any video creation application, you want to paste this into to create, let's say, for example, our own human talk application, along with our own human pal application, where you can upload an audio and then create a spokesperson video. You can do a lot of cool things with this when you can do this right out of the gate, right? So that means you click next, and then the audio file is being created. I'm just going to say live coaching business uh, ad, right? and then I can click save, and then the project is saved. As you can see, now I can download it, I can edit it further, so I can do whatever I want with it, as you can see right now. Pretty exciting, right? Now, another cool thing you can do, let's go back to the step one. And now if this feature is not active in your account, you may have to log off and log back in or just clear your cache and try again, uh, refresh this page or do a hard refresh, you're gonna see it because it's a new update. And then, so basically you click on this option again, I'm gonna show you something else cool you can do here uh, with this application. All right, so I have a blank screen right now. Let's say I want to create a sales email script for my dog training course. So meaning I want to create a dog training course, an ebook or service or whatever it might be. And then I click advanced prompts and click submit. So what it's going to do is it's going to write it in the form that the AI would understand it so that it can actually do a good job. So you can even change things over here, okay? So it says craft a persuasive sales email script. Uh, for my dog training course that introduces the course, highlights its benefits, encourages readers to take action, user-friendly and professional tone, includes details about the course structure and that sort of thing. Now, what you can do is you can add things here, okay? So you can even add, let's say for example, your course is uh, specifically for a breed of dog, you can add that in here, or it's only for puppies, you can do that here. If you want to do, for example, for instance, only the course would be in positive reinforcement or something like that, you can add that in here, okay? So uh, focusing on positive reinforcement, uh, right? which is basically uh, very important if that's what your course is about. Then you click that and then you do. So then what it's gonna do is gonna add the script in the best possible way. ChatGPT can never create something like that. Any application in the market cannot do it, okay? Because they're all focused on specific details. You gotta understand that the AI becomes smarter and smarter uh, the better your prompts are and our system will create that prompt for you. No creativity required, no prior experience required, nothing like that, you see this? Subject line, get the most out of your dog with positive reinforcement learning, interesting. Are you looking for an effective way to train your dog? Do you wanna build a, uh, you know, for example, strong bond with your pup and help them uh, learn good behaviors? You see this? And wrote the whole thing, sign up now and get 10% off. And you can copy this, create an audio voice over with this using human talk, or you can even uh, send this out right away. You can do that as well to your email. You can do anything you want with this. Let me show you another example. Super exciting, I'm having a lot of fun here. So let's talk about software itself. So I'll just do this. I have an application called Human Talk, which is an unlimited AI content writer and human cloned voiceover generator, right? So create a sales script for this app. Okay, I'll click on this, submit. Now, again, you can change things over as you like and create uh, variations of it. You can create a script for a sales video for the Human Talk application, describe the features and benefits of the application, explain how it can help businesses and individuals save time and money by automating content creation and voiceover generation. Include real life examples of Human Talk as um, uh, uh, how Human Talk has helped, right? I can even do it like in such a way where I can make some changes to it, right? Um, human cloned emotional right, voice or generator. Now, when I click next, it's gonna change that. That one word will change the entire context of this prompt generation. You see this? It's perfect. Now I click next. Automatically, it's gonna create me that video sales script without me having to do anything extra. Isn't that amazing? So you can create anything you want. You can do any kind of sales, copywriting, marketing kind of content without ever 
having any technical experience. Look at this. This is a video sales script. I can give this to a video animator, uh, you know, plug this into a video creation application like our own human talk application, human pal application, for example, which both integrate together, right? Human talk and human pal, you can do that. Or you can even go a step further than that. And you can even go in and do something really exciting where, for example, you can plug this in into the human talk application to create that voiceover and then maybe create a video, create a podcast, maybe create a podcast ad, like an audio ad, for example, anything you want, right? See this, are you looking for it to create content quickly and easily, right? Cut to a shot of a person scrolling through their phone, introducing human talk, the AI content writer, human clone emotions, beautiful, right? Look at this. I can right now give it to my video animator or even I can do it on my own using any of our own video creation tools that uh, most of you probably already have, at least one of our video creation tools, right, from our company. So isn't that exciting, right? That means that you never have to worry about being creative. It's gonna do it in that format. Let me just show you one other example. What if you wanted your own mentor to guide you through the process of writing an amazing sales copy, advertising or direct response copy or marketing ad or something like that. Say for example, one of the best copywriters to ever live in this planet is Joe Sugarman. So let's say for example, I wanna do this, right? Write me a dog training book a direct response sales copy framework like Joe Sugarman would write it. So that means effectively what we are trying to tell it is, if I were to consult with Joe, he would charge me thousands and thousands of dollars. His late, great Joe Sugarman, by the way. And um, so what if he was even available in his prime and wanted to give you advice? So click on this. And then now what it's going to do is it's going to create a prompt for me, right, on how, um, you know, he would suggest, so meaning a brain, AI brain of Joe would, uh, if he were alive today, how it would work. So now you click next. And now it's going to create the entire framework for me of how Joe would basically suggest for me to write. So meaning if we got some consulting, suggest, okay, these are the things you gotta do for your dog training book. These are the things you gotta do for whatever product, right? Look at this, headline, discover the secret to training your dog and enjoy stress-free life together, okay? Sub headline, say goodbye to unruly behavior and create a loving bond with your dog. Opening paragraphs. Are you tired of dealing with your dog's unruly behavior? Do you feel like you're constantly struggling to get them to obey your commands, right? Benefit folks copy, focused copy. Our book is packed with easy to follow instructions and practical tips that will help you train your dog quickly and efficiently, right? Power full calls to action. Don't let your dog's unruly behavior ruin your relationship. Get our dog training book today and start enjoying a stress-free life like uh, with your beloved pet. Isn't that amazing? Look, I've spent tens of thousands, if not close to hundreds of thousands of dollars consulting with some of the greatest marketers, copywriters, and all that to get advice like this. Hey, you know, I'm trying to write a sales copy. Can you give me some headlines, some, uh, some you know, marketing hooks and some things, some tips you can do to, uh, you know, get me to the finish line? Well, this is what they would suggest, right? And this is what you're getting. This is the beauty here, right? And I can go even a step further than this. So for example, I'm gonna say, I wanna create a podcast, get me the best training, uh, best trending topics to create my podcast, right? Click submit, and now what's gonna do, it's gonna create a system that the AI would understand fully, right? And then click, uh, you see this, research the top 10 most uh, popular podcast topics in the last six months, more recent, more trending, and then now it's gonna generate me those, so that I, I don't even have to do any market research, I don't have to do anything, I'm just telling it, it's giving it to me. And the beauty is, again, no need for me to have any marketing research, prompt engineering expertise, advanced stuff, which will only make it more and more free to get into the rabbit hole of uh, trying to understand these things and then not let you take action, right? Because action is what's gonna get your results, like starting a podcast, starting a YouTube channel, starting, say for example, an audio book that you wanna create using human talk, whatever it is, you see this. Mental health is one, relationships is another topic, uh, self-care is another topic, parenting is another topic, career, right? Like that's a pretty popular topic, health and wellness, right? Um, you know, for example here, technology is a popular topic, personal finance is another topic. So these are the top topics that we wanted to create, right? And this is what it allow us to create. Isn't that awesome? And the beauty is you don't have to worry about, you know, for example, you know, competition and all that kind of stuff because these are big enough of a market, right? So you can even use it for market research as well. Isn't that awesome? Let's go a step further. Let's say I suggest me the best names for my audiobook for my life coaching business for entrepreneurs because this is the question you would ask anybody, right? Hey, buddy, you know, can you give me some names, right? Same thing. I'm going to click submit and then this advanced prompt is going to generate things for me where it would basically add things like creative, inspiring, memorable, unique, motivation, success, things that, you know, my brain at that moment would not be ready to do it, right? So click next and then boom, it's going to automatically create that content that is what you're asking it for. 
see, these are the ones. These are some potential topics that you can do, right? And there you go. You can start using it right out of the gate. So not only is it a market research type of a tool, you can use this to generate articles, copywriting, sales scripts. You can do it for market, uh, for example, finding the market attention spots, say, for example, hooks that your market would buy. Say, for example, just creating a dog training book is not enough or a dog training audio book. What are some things that you can add into it to make it even more specific? Like, is it dog training for puppies? Is it, for example, dog training for a specific breed is it positive reinforcement based uh, audio book or ebook or whatever it is that you're creating you can do all that with this one application in this advanced prompt feature it's just exciting super excited and this is just the start i mean this is basically a fully flexible platform so you can do a lot of cool things with it because i can go back here and then i can say generate a list of creative inspiring names right and then we can even add some things here right uh, it's uh, focus right i can add this focus on entrepreneurs who are burnt out working too hard right maybe that's what we want so click next you don't have to hit submit or anything just add that one point and then click next that's it right and then now it's going to focus on that topic of burnout in the titles isn't that awesome right see this power of balance right life coaching for the overworked entrepreneur right isn't that cool life coaching for the exhausted entrepreneur this is the beauty here, okay? See this? And it can do all kinds of good work for us in terms of research as well. All right, so whatever you posted here, basically, right? You uh, basically, whatever script got generated here, and then you go into the human talk application, and then you choose whoever you want, as a Jason, excited, whatever it might be, or happy, or whatever, doesn't matter, click next. And then you paste the script here in this step. So that's what I did, where I went in and I did that for the life coaching thing. So let me show you, let me play that, how the quality looks like. Are you a business owner who is struggling with fear and self-doubt? Are you looking for a way to take your business to the next level but don't know where to start? Life coaching can help you overcome your fear. Pretty cool, right? Let me show you another one where I did the same thing where I wrote a whole script for our human talk application, which went live recently. So let me show you that. Again, I did it in both male and female in just a couple of seconds. Are you tired of spending countless hours creating content for your business or personal projects? Do you wish there was an easier way to generate unique, high quality content without breaking the bank? And I did the same thing for the mail as well because sometimes you, know, you want to try different things. So let me show you this one. Today I want to tell you about an amazing new app that's going to change the game when it comes to content creation. With the new Human Talk app, you can create unlimited unique content in just... Amazing, right? You see the power of it? And you can just now download this right here right you can just download this right here download this audio file into your computer and basically you can go into uh, the human pal application so if you want to convert this into ai human spokesperson video you can download that right now you can do this by the way and so you can go into basically anything one of these templates mock-ups whatever uh, or even you can do as basic as the green screen template here you can use that as well up to you whatever works let's say you want to use the green screen template and you have two options you can put a video background or a normal background up to you you just want to use a green screen one that's up to you as well and then let's say you put one of the spokespersons like so and then now what you could do is go to import audio option here you see that import audio option you click on that import audio option and then what you do is you click select from library and then once you've done that select from library you can just upload it using this option right here you see this upload this option right here and automatically regardless of the audio length the uh, crop that audio length to fit it to that particular template that style so whatever style it is so in this case if i do this and i click select what it's doing is behind the scenes it's uploading that audio file lip syncing it for that spokesperson and also automatically doing the pacing and all that kind of good stuff and also doing the transcription to make the uh, subtitles show up as well which is quite uh, critical so now you can convert text into audio into video isn't that cool it's with ex uh, exciting voice tones and all that kind of good stuff as well so let me show you how that would work and then i click next and then now it's what it's going to do it's going to transcribe whatever that i posted in earlier like basically all the transcription and all that kind of stuff is done and then now what it will do is it will generate me those videos so let me show you a couple of examples of how you can do this and again it can work with any voices it can work with exciting voices it's going to not so exciting voices and all that kind of stuff let me show you a quick uh, demo of a couple of examples so that means effectively the script generation is done for you the audio is gen done for you and now the video is done for you as well you see this the text positioning is done now I click next you can uh, 
add any background media or anything else like this. So basically you have a background media, you can add it here. Uh, if you just want to leave it as green screen, you do it too, it's up to you and click uh, next, right? And now there you go. It's creating this person right at the gate. You can add media here, again, background media and all that kind of stuff. You can move around slides, you can do all kinds of stuff. So let's say uh, you can change the script and, and basically all that kind of good stuff. And then when you're happy, you go next and then you give it a name and then you create a video. So now then it'll, it'll create a video like what I'm gonna show you in any type of voice you want, exciting, sad, happy, whatever you desire, right? Let me show you an example. Hey, I wanna tell you about an amazing new app that's going to change the game when it comes to content creation. With the new Human Talk app, you can create unlimited unique content in just minutes and the best part, you can bring that content to life with over 800 different humans like voiceover. Isn't that awesome? Let me know in the chat box. Is, is that exciting or what? Let me know in the chat box, right? Because now you can add exciting content like this and make any spokesperson speak with perfect lip sync just, right? Just by actually uploading the audio that you created in Human Talk. And the script and everything already wrote it, right? That's amazing, isn't it? Right? Absolutely. I'm seeing a lot of people saying, posting in the comments box. It's amazing. It's amazing. Now, here's the thing. I saw a lot of uh, questions coming in as well, particularly, right? And you can pick posting questions here as well. I will uh, basically, uh, you know, be answering them as well as we go along. But one quick thing I wanted to kind of show you to the pe people who are here. Uh, let me actually uh, share my screen as well and, and actually point this out uh, because I want to make sure that you see it, uh, the full screen. So as you can see in my screen right Finding now, uh, let me show you this. All right, see this, right? Too many videos. All right, so check this out. What we're planning on doing in the next, uh, if you're watching this later on, probably it's already there, but in the next week or so, what we will do is if you got Human Talk, so basically on that link that you see in the bottom, humantalk.io slash yes. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be adding the voices, these emotional voices and these uh, cool voices in the application itself. You know, a lot of people were asking about this integration, right? So it's gonna be like this. You have US English or whatever, it's gonna be one of the voices here, um, Mary excited or whatever. So for example, like if I go back into the application of Human Talk here, you see how you have Aria excited, Dave is excited and all that. So they will appear here in the application. Now, why isn't it immediately done? Well, there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff to make it happen because we have to do lip, lip sync. We have to make sure that these emotions are carried forward uh, properly. There's a lot of behind the scenes stuff to make it happen, right? So that's gonna be done. And what we're doing is for people who get human talk and human pal, which most of you already have human pal, obviously, right? When you get both of them, we're gonna do this direct integration of these voices in here. Now, you're gonna say, okay, when it's integrated, why would I need human talk? Well, both of them are completely different applications, right? And that's why I'm showing you them uh, live so that way you can see it in, in real time. So with human talk, what you're able to do here, you're able to create complete audio books, right? So for example, I can go into my audios right now. I could create like maybe 30 minutes, one hour or whatever. Say for example, I have human talk. Uh, I'm just gonna make it up right now for the example, but you can select this and we have like a checkbox system and you can select if it's number one, number two. Say for example, this one is number one. I want this one first, I want this one second, and I want this one third. So one after each other. And I wanna combine them and I wanna make like a human talk uh, special, um, promo or something, right? And I'm gonna make the pauses between each other uh, separate, and then I'm gonna click create clip. Now, in just a few seconds, it's gonna combine this over and generate like a massive, massive, uh, you know, like a 30 minute uh, thing. So you can create audiobooks, podcasts, and all that kind of stuff. I can just click download, I'm done. So that means effectively, it is a, an application that goes beyond just video, right? And as I mentioned before, like you can go in and you can type in anything you want here and you can do it. Like really, uh, that Joe Schumer, Sugarman example I showed you is a big deal, right? Like these are copywriters who are charging tens to $20,000 or more for just consulting advice. Like if I say, I am working on, a, let's say for example, a solar panel, uh, you know, product, right? That is energy efficient, right? Write me a say, uh, you know, for example, email, right? Email copy in like how Joe Sugarman, right? Would write it, right? and then I'll click advanced prompts and I submit. What it's gonna do to the AI now, behind the scenes, is it's telling the AI, look, write it uh, how Joe Sugarman will write it, right? And uh, then if I'm not happy with what it wrote here, I can add things, meaning I can add things, make sure to use Joe Sugarman's, um, right? 
sugar men framework or something like that, right? Or style or whatever, right? Or what I can even do is I'm not happy with this. I can click submit again and it's gonna generate another type of a prompt, which is slightly a different variation of it, right? You see my point? And I can add those elements here as well. So I can say again, make sure to uh, include Joe Sugar Men's uh, uh, famous frameworks, okay? Uh, inside the email. I can add these elements. So this, you, have, you have basically that customization. So that means effectively, I'm creating copywriting where a copywriter is charging like tens of thousands of dollars right now to write copy. Like a normal copywriter right now, minimum charge is $3,000 an hour of their time. So meaning if they're creating like a basic email copy, it's gonna charge $500 because it took them 15 minutes. If it's something else, more and more and more. See this, right? Check this out, right? Of course, AI, maybe this, this is a little copy thing. You wanna delete it, delete it, okay? Look at this, subject line. Unlock the power of solar energy with our energy efficient solar panel. Are you looking for a way to reduce your energy costs while also helping the environment? Look no further than our uh, basically energy efficient solar panel. With our solar panel, you can save money on your energy, blah, blah, blah. It's gonna write it in that format. Now. With the technology, what's happening, and this is the key thing I wanted to point out, is that right now that the data that we are using is yay big, okay? Like imagine, right? Because AI is so brand new, right? Once we get to the next generation, right? And once we get to the next generation, which is what we're working with in the next couple of months, few months, because we're using off of many different sources behind the scenes, the data that we're going to be working with will be yay big, okay? Imagine that. Now we're top, uh, tapping maybe 1% of the possibility of the data and all that. Uh, basically in terms of, let's say it's copywriters, let's say for example, designers, let's say for example, uh, the best uh, script writers, video animation script writers or uh, story writers, right? Screenplay writers, imagine, right? This is how you would want to do it. Now, I know a lot of people um, want to do something cool. You can even do it in this way, right? You can even, uh, I uh, do it in this way where you can do it, where you can say, okay, um, I want to write a short story for my YouTube channel um, that is um, exciting. Um, uh, write in, write it how Steven Spielberg would write this, write, write it, okay? Okay, simple. And then you would, you would create that advanced prompt for us, right? Look at this. And this basically already said what are the elements that Steven Spielberg would put in his stuff, like vivid descriptions and all that. I click next. And now it's gonna create as a short story right out of the gate, right? Isn't that awesome? So this is what makes the human talk application so powerful. You have the AI content writer, you have the ability to basically do other cool things. And of course, if that wasn't enough as well, you have the ability to basically do copywriting frameworks, marketing elements, emails, look at this. The world is in peril. A mysterious force has been unleashed, threatening to destroy the planet. It was up to a group of unlikely heroes to save the day. Right, you see this? It's writing it in the way that Steve, Steven Spielberg would with the excitement and all that kind of stuff. This is what makes AI powerful with our technology. There's nothing else like this out there. Uh, Chat GPT and all this other stuff out there. First of all, Chat GPT does, it keeps going down for the free account. They want you to pay a monthly subscription uh, and they're gonna move to that monthly subscription permanently anyways. Secondly, you gotta be like this prompt genius with Ch uh, uh, Chat GPT, which means if I go back really quickly, I have to write every little thing in this format and not just that, I have to be specific. So like, for example, if I'm writing an email and I have to type in like a prompt, which is like, this big, like let's say for example, if I have to write a prompt this big, I might as well write the article myself, right? <laughs> right? You see my point? I might as well write the same thing myself. So that's the basic idea that we are trying to achieve here, okay? So hope, hope that is making sense to you, okay? That way we give the AI the prompt. So now once we've gotten that, we just go in and we can go in and we get the content, right? Let's say for example, we got the content, we can just copy and paste that content over and get the voice over done here. And then of course, we can go back to human pal and either right now as it stands, you can do this, go to import audio like so, import the audio and then now automatically have that lip synced and stuff like that with human pal. Again, as I said, in the next week or so, we're gonna add those in for if you purchased human talk the new brand new technology of ours, the link is right below here. You purchase it, we're giving you a lifetime access where you can generate unlimited content, unlimited voiceovers, and of course, there's no monthly fees, no yearly fees, no upsells, no downsells, none of that mumbo jumbo stuff, and you can get it all in one place, right? And then we're gonna include those 
here for you, okay? Now, a couple of things I wanna mention as well for our human pal customers, because I know some people are asking this. So what we are working on is, of course, once you have these emotional voices, you might wanna create longer length videos and stuff like that. So right now, that's been our focus is to speed up the rendering of our human pal technology so that uh, it becomes 500% faster rendering. So that's been something we've been working on a lot. Like it's been something we've invested a lot of our resources and everything. So uh, I should be having some good news to share with you in the next coming weeks, uh, around the next month or so, where the speed of the generation will be 500% faster. Now, what does that allow us? Then we can bump up the rendering, um, you know, the limit, um, how many videos, how, how long the length of that video will be, right? And secondly, the other advantage you're gonna get, which is what we did in a roadmap, 50% of all the stuff we promised in the roadmap is already finished. The other 50% are interlinked, right? Let's say, for example, you want more advanced animations, it's linked to the rendering speed. Uh, if you wanted to add, say, for example, two spokespersons talking together, that's linked to the rendering, right? Because all these AI machines, uh, uh, mechanisms and stuff like that, all rely on the fundamentals to do so. So that's what we're, we have, it's gonna be super exciting. And yes, everybody who got Human Pal, right, in the past, today, you got it a few days ago, you'll get that update for free, of course, right? Uh, and we've been working on some, a lot of things, like I said, last two years, we've only worked on Human Pal, and of course, our Human Talk. These are our two flagship projects where we didn't even launch anything. You'll see often, right, these so-called gurus, they keep moving from one product to the other. Every two months, they're launching something. Now, AI is the fashionable thing, so they're all moved into AI. But how are they even really helping you out? I've seen courses right now, okay? People keep talk, talking about it in our uh, live stream. That's why I did want to do this zoomed in for you so that you can understand. There are courses right now selling for $997 and masterminds right now right, for $5,000, just talking about the prompt generation thing I was trying to tell you about, right? And it's not even automated, they're just teaching you, okay, do this, do that. Like with ours, we automated it. That is what talent, skill set, passion, in, and being a pioneer in AI means, right? Where we type in this, and it generates us this for the AI to understand. That is a game changer. People are still in the past, right? The people are still <laughs> uh, working towards the past, and, and that sort of thing, right? So. That's the basic idea. That's what I kind of wanted to solve uh, for you folks uh, today specifically, right? So uh, again, one important thing I want to say, that's the link that you can get um, the, um, the, um, you know, the application, right? Now, one important thing I want to also mention here real quick is this is next generation stuff. Nothing like this is out there. You cannot get this for any price anywhere else. So I'm seeing some questions. That's why I'm actually looking at it here to check out your questions. I'm seeing a lot of you so excited about this. Now, what I wanted to actually explain to you, and this is quite important, by the way, is I'm going to make it even more simpler for you, right? So that you can see the screen and all that. Just this fact, this fact that you're creating co uh, this content and simplifying this for you is something that people are still figuring it out. We've already automated it, right? So we are in the next generation. As the AI and the system become smarter and smarter and smarter, right? you're gonna have better and better quality content to generate. And there's nothing like this out there where you can do everything all together in a cohesive platform. You got the unlimited content generation, copywriting frameworks, all the most recent things that you will ever need, right? Emails, write sales copies, write video sales scripts, write screenplay for a movie, write audiobook content, titles, right? Descriptions, uh, market research stuff, everything in this content, right? Then not just that, went a step further, right? And then we added this emotional voiceover generator as well, which means now you can not just have it written down the content, you can convert it into mesmerizing audios, voiceovers and stuff like that. For any market, any niche, in any language, we have 800 plus, nothing else is even 800 plus, 800 plus, okay, in multiple languages, right? And it's only gonna keep going more and more because the technology that we use is not text-to-speech. People always ask me, like, oh, I was in text-to-speech. No, this is basically what we like to call Okay, and I wanna mention this, so it's important. It's what we like to call human, okay, cloned voices, okay? What that means is all the professional narrators and all the other folks cloned their voice and then they are your narrators now. It's not like text-to-speech, that's old technology. And I'm telling that with humbleness, okay? Because I was the first person, all right, my team and I, in 2016, we did, we actually had the very first text-to-speech application in the market, which had text-to-speech, avatars, and all this other stuff. And it was breathtaking and mind-blowing at that time. But at that time, that was revolutionary. Now, the next generation of text-to-speech is in human cloned voice generation, okay? That means effectively you have a narrator or a professional spokesperson, and we basically have their voices cloned, and then because of that, it will sound like them, it will emote like them, it will basically have, uh, you know, like happy, sad emotions like them, and of course, it'll have pacing, breathing, all this other stuff like a real human. 
this is what cutting edge technology is all about, right? That's what I'm trying to explain to you. So again, I left the link in the uh, here so you can get it um, right now at humantalk.io slash yes. We spend a lot of money, time and effort into this technology. That's what makes it so, 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 so excited, uh, so exciting as well for me. Now, again, as I said, when we complete the integration for um, basically the uh, human uh, pal application to have the voices, it's going to be even better, right? Obviously, for the human pal customers uh, who are here, who are watching this. And again, as I said, both of them work hand in hand together, right? Because let's say you wanted to create content, content, you get the text generation part, right? Which is included as part of human talk, right? Then you got the voices, right? You have 800 plus voices generated with emotions here, right? Then if you wanted to have that into a video too, you have that potential. So that means effectively, you could do anything you want online. You can create audios for podcasts, right? You can do it for audio books. You can use it, for example, for video creation. So, you know, you want to have it for video creation. You can use it for even, for that matter, uh, text generation for articles, sales copy, and all that kind of stuff. So everything unit is in one place. Now, one thing I want to mention here, okay? And you can let me know in the chat box if that is sounds good, okay? Uh, I can keep going on and on with what bonuses we have for you and all that. Fine, right? I mean, you probably already know we have a lot of cool bonuses and stuff like that we're giving away worth a lot of money. But just one bonus I want to talk about today, okay? So I talked about all these things, right? I was a pioneer in AI. I've not created a blockchain course, cryptocurrency course, NFT course, just to cash in on the money. I've never taken uh, money as an influencer from somebody else to hawk another product. I have believed in one goal, which is if you're consistent in your message and you believe in what you're trying to explain and you believe in the future, I can get you better results and I'll make more results, right? Obviously for my own business and stuff like that. So stuff like, you know, huge high quality voiceovers and stuff and script writing. I do this in my business every day, right? Uh, we've done well over $100 million in sales. So I asked a simple question for you. You got these technologies, right? You have them all together. First question you're going to say is, I'm going to get information overload, shiny object syndrome, and I'm going to be lost. I have too many tools. I'm not knowing what to do. Let me ask you a question. If you get me and my team to help you one-on-one, -on -one, okay? That means one-on-one, -on -one, right? And help you navigate through this, through live streams, to coaching, to mentorship for free, where even if these things don't work, like human talk doesn't work out for you, you left, you got every single penny back. At the very least, you got my mentorship and coaching for free, right? And you basically, I'll help you get results with in terms of prompt engineering, I told you how to become an expert at that. That's, a, that's the future. These are folks who replace coders, programmers, designers, uh, you know, copywriters, right? That's the future. And I'm gonna put you on the map there. You don't have to buy another course. You don't have to pay $2,000. You don't have to go to a mastermind, all that stuff. I'll give you all that mentorship, that coaching for free. Even if you decide to leave, get every single penny back. My duty to you is to train you so you don't waste money with some YouTube ad you see of some guru who was talking about Amazon selling in the past, uh, affiliate marketing in the past, cryptocurrency in the past, NFTs in the past, and suddenly now he's talking about AI. How do you actually learn from somebody like that? Like you gotta learn from somebody who's actually invested and dedicated their life into AI, right? Like last five years, six years, if you look at it, we created the very first, right? My team and I, we built the first AI video creator, very first text-to-speech application in the market ever, okay? And we created the very first chatbot in the app application in the planet. This was in 2017, 2018. Before ChatGPT was cool, people were saying chatbot, what the heck is a chatbot? We created it first. So my point I'm trying to make is I'm dedicating my life into it. And if I'm mentoring you and coaching you, you're getting it from the source. The person is actually the best of the best in the industry. Not somebody who just talk, oh, it's so cool. I'm just gonna launch something on AI because it sounds so cool, right? And I have to stress this point enough because at the end of the day, even if you don't buy this human talk technology, no problem, it doesn't even really matter. But if you like me believe, right, that AI is the future, AI will revolutionize things like Google did, like the mobile phone, smartphone, with Apple iPhone did. I just want you to type in, in the chat box, yes, if you agree with me that knowing this information now, getting the unfair advantage now before anybody else can get it will be a game changer for you, isn't it, right? As I said, when I got started, I was the first, one of the first few people in the world, right? Maybe first few thousand people in the world building websites before website creation was a cool thing to do, which everybody knew how to do, right? That gave me an edge. If you are the prompt engineer today in the next few months and you become an expert at it, you're going to be the best copywriter in the world, right? You're going to be the best uh, video creator in the world. You're going to be the best, uh, for example, audiobook creator in the world. You'll be the very best in the world at it, right? And I cannot put any value to that. I just want to be clear so you understand, okay? It's like asking like the best person in the world to tell you, how much do you value your time? 
I mean, that time could be worth 100,000 to you. It could be 10,000 to you. It could be $100 to you, but it's what you do, right? So my point is, instead of just telling you, okay, this is a cool technology, go here and create your con uh, prompts and go ahead. No, I'm actually going to be mentoring you over the next few weeks, right, on how to become a prompt engineer. So I'm going to give you how to fish yourself rather than giving you the fish, which is what everybody's going to do. Copy and paste this, right? It's not going to help you learn, understand how the AI platform works, right? And I, how do I know? Like, because I'm not just making it up. So I'll explain to you how I know this, okay? In the industry today, you have two types of people, right? So like I'm seeing like, I like this, I like yes, 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 right? Right, right, sounds good, okay, right. Now, now my point is in the industry, right, we have two types of people, okay? And 95% of the people are like this, which is your uh, everyday guru, so-called expert. They will just go in, they're like, oh, this, this is so cool, like, this, this technology, this AI thing is so cool, uh, let's just clone this thing, okay, who can do this, right? And then they're gonna message some low quality, some uh, programmer from somewhere, and then just create a course or a product or something like that, right? Half-baked, right? And then they're going to release something out there just because it sounds cool. It's hot. And then what they're going to say is, oh, it sound, uh, you got to get it right now. Pay $997 uh, or uh, pay a monthly subscription or pay $2,000 or something. Right. And then what they're going to do is they'll even go a step further and they're going to say, well, you know, we don't have everything ready today. We're going to have it in the future. Or, hey, you know, we uh, basically we think it's the future. You got to get it. But they don't come with conviction. Right. Let me explain what we did. Personally, I've invested thousands of hours of my own time working on this text generation system, right? Content generation system. Thousands of hours of my own time on human talk. Thousands of my hours of my own time on human pal. What that means is every single feature that you see here, some of them have my own actual, uh, you know, things that I'm using in my own business to generate, like I said, we generated in the last decade plus well over $100 million. So I know some features that work. So when I say results are more important than anything, that's what I mean, okay? It's like, for example, this little feature that you see here, somebody might see this and they're like, oh, okay, so what? It's just like a one button. My point is, it's easy, that's important, okay? Like, a lot of times you'll see a, a software, you have like a million features in it, but you don't know where the heck to start. I'm saying you start with step one, go here, content prompt. Let's say some client comes to you and say, look, I am, uh, say for example, I was recently talking to a real estate agent, okay? Real estate agent, um, uh, wanted to basically talk about how he can generate more leads, right? Uh, wants uh, to generate, right, more leads uh, in a down market, right? Write me an email marketing campaign script, right? Uh, to uh, get more leads in a down market, okay? Let's say that's that's what they want, right? That's the problem. Most people come to you for with a problem. They're not gonna come and say, oh, are you a prompt engineer? Can you please create me a prompt? No, they're like, they don't have time for all that, right? They're gonna come, just like how Google in the early days, nobody came and said, hey, you know, I wanna rank number one on Google, can you help me? No, in the early days of Google, I remember I was there. What they were, people were saying is, I just want traffic. I don't care how, just get me traffic. You got it from Google, you got it from Ask Jeeves. There was a website called Dogpile. There was a website called yahoo.com, aol.com, all these search engines. People just didn't care, they wanted results. So this is gonna allow you to get results. You click submit here, automatically it's gonna give the AI system what it needs to actually do it. So you write an email marketing for a real estate agent that will generate more leads in a down market. Focus on the unique benefits of working with a real estate agent, such as their expertise in the local market, blah, 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 right? Click next. Automatically what it's gonna do, that person wanted me, he's on the phone right now, I can actually create that script and paste it and send it over to them and say, look, I can do this for you. This is how fast I am in getting your results. That will be the game changer. You wanna go a step further? Create videos for them with human pal. Wanna go a step further? Create audios for them, maybe podcast content, audiobook content, anything you desire, right? That is what it is. You see this, get the best deals in a down market with real estate agent name. Maybe his name is Bob Smith, whatever, right? Dear name, are you looking to buy or sell a home in this down market? If so, you come to the right place, right? Uh, we understand that unique challenges are buying in a down market. That's why we're committed in helping you get the best deals. You see this? It's going on and on and on. This is what I mean, okay? Now you're not happy with this. Let's say you're not happy, right? Go back here and say, right? Um, write an email marketing campaign script for a real estate agent that will generate more leads in a down market. All right, and you see how it says focus on unique benefits. You can say focus on the unique benefits and also specify, right, how, uh, or we can even say also persuade, right, persuade potential prospects um, why they should, right, and then we can say why they should work. You don't even have to have everything work with the real estate agent, right? And then you're happy with this, click next. This is what next generation AI is all about, okay? 
I want to express to you this. This is just the start. We made it easy. You can see it, me do it in one minute. I'm not going and saying, this is a prompt. This is a negative prompt. Oh, you got to say this. You got to go back and ask this. You got to go and say, do you agree with me? Simple. The more simpler it is, the more likely it is that you're going to implement, the more likely it is that you will get results, right? That's my major goal. And that's what I want to dedicate my life to. And I want you to understand that when I say this, I'm not joking around, right? It's if you look at it, whether you get this or not, it doesn't matter to me. All I'm saying is get it from the right source, okay? Like you can come to our Facebook group. I'm doing live streams for free for people who are interested in AI and you can interact with other people who are interested in AI technologies. I don't, I don't even care if you buy anything from me. My only point is please, I beg you, okay? And I just want you to understand is that from experience, from over training hundreds of thousands of people, there are a lot of charlatans out there, a lot of these um, fake gurus out there who lap on to the next best thing. The only way you're going to know this is if last year they talked about cryptocurrency and they sold you a cryptocurrency product, the year before they sold you NFTs, the year before they did stock trading, the year before they did affiliate marketing, the year before they did uh, something else, something else, something else, and they've not stuck to one craft, that's how you know. Okay? And I'm going to tell you 99% of the people are like that. And if that is the case, they don't have expertise to teach you on how to grow because they themselves just found out about this like a month ago, right? How are they going to help you? You might as well just get it from a 10-year-old kid in school who's doing his homework with ChatGPT. He'll give you the same amount of assistance, right? It's the same thing. So all I'm saying is if you want to be in the cutting edge, you want to get it from the right source. And I truly believe I'm the only source you're going to get who's going to give you unbiased information because I don't have a course to sell on AI content generation. I don't have a course to sell on AI video creation. I don't have a mastermind or a seminar to sell on why you should use AI and what's so cool. I don't have it, right? So at the end of the day, for me personally, whether you uh, you know basically join in on live streams or learn what I'm teaching you, I don't get a single penny out of it. What my goal is, is if you understand the power of AI, then you'll obviously understand that our technology, when you go to the marketplace, is the best value ever. Meaning you're going to get the best deal, you're going to get lifetime access right now for a limited time because we're going to be changing it into a credit system and a monthly subscription type of a system uh, where it's going to cost more money, it's going to cost you for every, uh, you know, any, every content you generate like this, and also on top of that, every audio you generate, it's going to be a credit-based system. So you, don't have, you want to avoid all that? Get it right now, right? And you're going to be grandfathered in, right? With, for example, even look, look at it, Human Pal, for example, like the application I'm showing you here, right? For those who have Human Pal, you know, right? For when we released Human Pal, like a lot of people don't know this, when you released Human Pal, uh, this was just about eight months ago, the first thing was there, it was a really revolutionary technology, but one issue was there where if you upl uploaded like an audio file uh, with like a different languages or even, for example, a fast accent, the lip sync was kind of off because the audio was very, very quick. And it sounds a simple thing, but to fix that, it takes a huge amount of undertaking trial and error. And right now I can say with, with a straightforward uh, thing where we are the very best in lip sync in the world right now. Meaning what I mean by that is you throw it, at it any audio here and it's gonna lip sync perfectly. Meaning then there are pauses and stuff. We are the only platform in the world right now where if you put a song, right, like somebody singing, right? It will lip sync that song. We're the only platform, right? Because the technology and the framework is strong. The foundations are strong, right? So when I say this, and I want to be very clear on it, the point is that these technologies together will put you in the map for AI. And the training, the mentorship I'm going to give you is for free. And what, what kind of training am I talking about? Well, how do you become a prompts expert, right? Without, you know, going and doing like a PhD or buying like some $2,000 course uh, or some mastermind or something. How do you basically become an expert at this AI to utilize it the right way so you can succeed in your business and your consulting business and all that so that in maybe few minutes or maybe even few hours you get results rather than having to buy product after product after product after product, right? And you're going to see that. There are going to be a lot of these so-called folks uh, launching some AI tool or this or that for like 50 bucks, 100 bucks, uh, some subscription, this and that. And they're going to upsell you, upsell you, upsell you because they know that at the end of the day, they want to milk as much money out of you as possible and then move on to some other new trend that comes in. And I'm going to tell you, the few people who've stuck around and been telling AI is the future, right, have been there from the very beginning, okay? And I've been one of the few in that space. And I would probably say from the circle that I know, I'm probably the only one, okay? So because at the end of the day, you need somebody with consistency in doing what they're talking about long-term, okay? So now, just to again summarize real quick a couple of points before we'll do it so you can watch this later on. If you're a human pal customer, 
and you get the human talk application, which comes with unlimited content generation, unlimited, okay, unlimited uh, articles, copywriting scripts. You can even generate like marketing content. You can generate storyboarding. You can generate all kinds of good stuff, right? Short stories, whatever you want, right? And in fact, you can do that with a few keywords by dictating. You can even summarize the content. You can even translate it into a different language. You can even spin it meaning it's gonna reword itself into a different uh, form so it looks unique, right? You can do all that too as well. Now, on top of that, if that wasn't enough, you can even create unlimited voices and voiceovers and audio, long length, I'm talking hours long, right? Because you have a merge feature where you can merge multiple audios to create long length audios. And we just added a new feature recently, which was number one requested feature by people, which is once you create an audio, right? And let's say you create chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, or whatever, and they generate really quickly, by the way, okay? So for example, I take this right here, right? I take this uh, thing, you can copy to clipboard, and I go in and I choose um, whoever, like, I don't know, let's say Aria, and I, I can go in, click next, and I paste this, right? And I can do sincerely Bob Smith, I'll change some stuff that is here, right? Hey, uh, let's say Bob Smith is mailing me, right? Okay, so now you do this, you agree, and then click next. By the time I've been giving it a name, right? Let's say it's done already. See, I didn't even give it a name, so it's already done. So Bob Smith email, let's say, whatever, right? Click save. Now what you can do, you added this new feature, where you see this, how it says one? So you can sort it. Let me zoom this in so you can see it. You can sort it. So if I want Bob Smith's email thing video to be one, chapter one, and then life coaching to be number two, I can sort it. Certainly Bob Smith's will be first, life coaching will do three, four, and five, right? I can merge it together. Uh, alternatively, I don't like it, then I uncheck it. Now, life coaching became one, meaning it'll be the first audio file. Second audio file will be this uh, Bob Smith's one. And then Sarah will be the third one. And then you can combine and you can say Bob Smith campaign, um, let's say whatever, right? Like full, full or whatever, right? And then you can create some pauses between them so it looks natural. You can even make it like that. Click create clip, boom, done. Now you can create a 30 minute, one hour, whatever, and it's done in a few seconds. Simplicity, right? So we've done this. And if you are enjoying this style of training where somebody who actually knows the application inside it, because I was in the development of it, somebody who's actually generated hundreds of millions of dollars online doing what I've been preaching for many, many years, somebody who's actually, you know, for example, behind the scenes in development and also really good at marketing and also really, really good in helping teach you how to apply this into your business, then I think you should definitely give it a shot and give it a try if you haven't already. Now, if you've already gotten in, hey, you're in for a treat, okay? Because I'm so excited about AI. I'll, I'll just talk about a couple of things about AI, um, which I know because I'll, I'll give you an example. In our team right now, this was a, a couple of years ago, against all odds, we got a couple of machine learning engineers with PhDs in quantum computing and all this stuff, physics and all this other stuff. And they could have worked for Google, they could have worked for Microsoft, whatever, and they joined my team. And why did they join my team and they could have worked for Google or whatever? These people came with great ideas that if they went to a major corporation, it will take them approval from everybody up and down, right? So for example, they'd have to get 30 people to approve their idea of like an emotional voiceover generator application, right? They'll have to get all 30 people to say yes, right? In our company, they have come up with a cool idea and let's say you have a suggestion, like one of the suggestions that came in was uh, Mark in, like can you put this one, two, three? They have this idea that they want to do it. I'll say yes, or anybody in my team says yes, right? We'll implement that feature. That means it can be done quickly. So some of the people, like one of the person uh, who's a PhD, he was actually a gold medalist in PhD, so number one in his um, uh, in his in the country, right? And basically, he's the smartest person I've, I've met. And what he told me is this: He said, "Paul, look." What's happening right now and what's going to happen in the next five to seven years is imagine everything that we have the world be, how it got changed after a mobile phone got introduced or a smartphone. Like say, for example, a lot of people don't know this. I have like the, uh, the Samsung Fold phone, right? So this is what's going to be the future. So I'm in the uptrend. So how, what you can do with this is you can basically, I'll show you this actually. So you have a phone like this, right? And then you can actually open this up like this, okay? This is like what you call a Fold phone, right? So I'm the cutting edge, right? So this will be the future. In the next two years, all the phones will be a full phone, like you can open this up and like so, and you can see it, right? So my point is that this will be the future. I'm in the cutting edge. So when these things happen, right? Everything will be in such a way where in your palm of your hands, you can talk to AI to do everything. The palm of your hands, you have all these things happening that you never thought possible. And in the next seven to 10 years, you can be directing movies just by giving text. 
You could be, for example, you know, for creating a whole video game by just typing a bunch of text. And in fact, when you can actually get the text to even write itself, like what I'm doing right now, you don't even have to write the text. You have to just say, look, I'm, this is my idea, this is my vision, go create it. And we are in the forefront of all that. So if you believe in that vision, if you believe that that's what's gonna happen, whether you like it or not, right? People always uh, not agree with me on some things, it's okay. But if you are one of the few people who believe in that, then, and you believe that that's what's happening, then jump in on this, okay? Because you're gonna miss the train otherwise. I've been telling this, right? When, I, when TikTok came in, I said, look, TikTok is not just for dancing videos, you can use it to grow your brand or business. People are laughing at me. Lo and behold, TikTok became the number one uh, video traffic platform. I've been talking about, for example, that uh, in the very first stages, right? When Facebook came in, a lot of people don't know this, but uh, in the early days of Facebook, they grew Facebook uh, itself by having games in it, right? One of the top games in Facebook was a game called Farmville, okay? You can do farming and stuff, for those who remember probably. So I was one of the first people who actually worked with, with the person who created an ebook on how to win that game, right? And some other games like World of Warcraft and all that. And I ran one of the first ads, right? When I think about it, the first few thousand people who ran an ad on Facebook to promote an affiliate product. That was not even common, right? People are laughing. Why would somebody on social media see an ad and do, and then now an entire industry was built, right? So this is what I mean by being in the cutting edge of industry and being on the cutting edge of the next generation stuff that you need to do, okay? So hope that helps. So if you haven't already, right? Again, as I said, all the updates that we make to Human Talk right in the in the future we'll be, you'll be grandfathered in on it for free you don't have to pay anything extra okay i just want to be clear all the updates we make to the text generation platform now there's one thing here updates doesn't mean features very important you understand that a lot of people don't understand it they're like oh i don't see a new button here like i want like a new button in in, the, in this application right they always say like i want a new button here right like i want a button here that's why it's no 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 it doesn't work like that when it ai how it works is if you see like for example, like the content is much better now than before. That is a huge trial and error thing behind the scenes. If, for example, you see where this prompt, advanced prompt system is now doing a better job than before, that is a massive update, right? Now, for example, remember I told you like the data we are dealing with is this big right now, right? Uh, if the data we are gonna get in the next six months with AI is gonna be this big, right? So what I mean by that is when that happens, you might not even have to write this much right? You might have to just even a little, and this one will be even more and more accurate, okay? This is what I mean by next generation, okay? If you believe in that and you understand this, this is the best time to get started, okay? At the end of the day, what's going to happen is all these guys and girls who have such low attention span in the industry, these influencers, they'll jump into one thing and the other, then what's going to happen? I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. I've seen it already last 15 years. There's going to be some other new thing that's going to come up in the future, right? Maybe it's going to be some new Web 3.0 or something or a new virtual reality or uh, uh, augmented reality thing that's going to come in. And you know what's going to happen? All these folks will jump into that, right? And they're going to sell you more stuff, more stuff, more stuff on it. And then what's going to happen is you're going to miss out on the greatest opportunity since the invention of Google, since the invention of the smartphone, right, the iPhone. You will miss that forever. And when that happens, you're going to be kicking yourself. Right? Like we may, like as an example, just so you understand, when I built my first website in Google, 2004, 2005, people were making a lot of money building websites. I thought I was too late because I did it in 2005, December, early 2006, right? January, and it still made a lot of money. And I kept making money until 2008 when Google, it was becoming harder because a lot more people were competing, a lot more automations came in. And then lo and behold, by the time I made enough money from that, what I did, that when I moved on to other things, it became a lot more profitable and powerful for me because now I had enough of a confidence in myself because I made money. I proved to myself and my family that I could make money on the internet, right? This is how I want you to look at life, okay? If you do this AI stuff, maybe things will change. Maybe things will move on in three years or whatever, but you would have made enough of a nest egg for yourself and your family, enough of a competitive advantage for yourself that you will do really, really well. And let me explain to you what I mean by this, okay? A lot of industries out there right now are still not disrupted with AI, right? So for example, the healthcare uh, business, right? Or say for example, real estate, say for example, construction, all these old school industries. If you have even a little bit of knowledge in those industries where you know friends, you know family, you know some colleagues or whoever, you can offer this to them as a service where, hey, AI is changing things. If somebody's creating, charging you $3,000 for a direct mail campaign or copywriting thing or video ad or whatever, I can do 10 of them right now for the same price because I have the power of AI behind me. That alone will be a game changer for you, right? And 
I can help you with that. I really believe that. I, I know that because I'm, I'm working on this day in and day out, right? Like almost 99% of my time is focused on this stuff, right? Because when we have to implement some optimizations, like what you're seeing here, like adding this advanced prompt mode or adding emotions into these voices and all these little things that requires an incredible level of passion and focus in the industry, right? So that way you're not being a copycat, you're being the pioneer, right? So I want you to look at it that way, okay? So that said, right, for those who are here, I, I don't wanna keep going on and on. If you want one-on-one -on -one assistance from myself and my team, right? If you want the greatest technologies that you'll ever get, if you want the ability to integrate all our applications where you have Human Pal, you have Human Talk, of course, you have the content generation system and all these tools together, and you don't wanna know how to do them, right? So that way you don't have to go through 100 different sources for information and getting information overload, right? And if you wanna do it in the simplest fashion, in the most likely fashion that's gonna get you record-breaking results, this is the only way, all right? I wish there was other ways. I have looked around and all I see is a bunch of people jumping on the next latest bandwagon. And I don't see a single person who's like been saying AI is gonna be the future since 2015 like I have. In fact, I get hated on it even to this day by people for saying, oh, you were talking about AI before everybody else. See now, you're, you, you basically were too ahead of your time, but see now we are joining in the right time. I don't believe that, right? If you're ahead of your time, that's a good thing because you saw potential before everybody else saw it, right? So anyway, my point is, if you want one-on-one -on -one assistance from my, myself and team, I have some other cool bonuses that you want that, you know, for example, prompt generation course, speech to text transcription uh, uh, app we're giving away for free as a special bonus beta version for it. You want integration with Human Pal, where you want these voices in Human Pal under these voices tab when you go in here. If you want also, for example, the, um, you know, the content generation system to work hand in hand with it. So if you want, for example, how to create audio books with this, right, and publish them. If you want to create podcasts to get traffic, you want that kind of a training, mentorship, and guidance, not just to get the application and tutorials itself. Like for example, you could go um, and you know we have like a bunch of tutorials. If you wanna go beyond the tutorials and actually get results, this is the best platform to do so, okay? Is that cool? So hope that uh, helps. And I'm seeing a lot of great comments here and all that stuff. I really appreciate each and every one of you. So it's great, thank you, right? Uh, uh, and so I look forward to seeing you on the inside once you get in at that uh, link that uh, you see there, okay? Hope, you, hope that helps. I'll look forward to seeing you on the inside.